tell you something family you don't become the person you want to be by lowering your importance and shrinking yourself to make other people comfortable those of you those of us who have this unconscious habit of bending over for people bending over for your superiors bending over for people that don't like you bending over for people that you're not comfortable with you're never really going to win and dominate this world how like how you were supposed to be if you keep bending over we move righteously and we move stand up we stand up tall like trees and when we walk in rooms we elude this confidence and spread good energy well what you think is good energy we don't care what any, anybody else says right we spread this energy and it becomes more contagious and if you see a man that's confident within himself don't care what other people say that will transfer on to you if you see it with that lens you know some people are jealous some people are the jealous type you know don't lie to yourself if you know you're the jealous type but we were sent here to dominate in our field we all were sent here with a purpose we were all sent here with a mission and you're doing yourself and others a disservice by shrinking yourself to make other people comfortable the world is yours and you have to start moving as such it's not egotistical it's not narcissistic don't get caught with these smoke screens society tells you and you lose track of who you really are see in this year 2023 we done bending over we done making other people comfortable i'm not gonna you know squish my shoulders together to make sure you get a seat at the table nah it's my seat it's my table i came here to dominate and that's how it's supposed to be the world is yours but you have to go get ready to take it you have to prepare yourself to take on what the world has to offer we go through ups and downs but this is all part of the process the world is yours and when you when i reference that to scarface you don't see him making himself minimizing himself being humble having a low estimation of one's importance he took on the world by being himself by being confident and having the courage to push himself forward on where he wants to be and this is how we do it we can't be looking out for handouts we can't be looking out or we can't be waiting for the right time because the only time is now stop looking for a sign stop looking for a way out stop looking for stuff that's outside of yourself because you already have the answers you know i came to new york city 2018 with the tension to rule over the city you know the typical man shit because if you're true you're true as a man you're in your true nature as a man you're competitive and you can't work up under somebody else's leadership so you're out here gathering the tools and resources so you could build your own castle and have people come inside and work for you i'm not even going to get into the what's well, not for everyone because it is for everyone we weren't sent here to be working up underneath someone's vision underneath someone's castle making somebody else rich and i get that you may have a good job you're passionate about it but is that your true life calling is that your true purpose see i walk in rooms with my hands on my crotch and my head to the ceiling head in the clouds balls on the ground that's how we move it see not much has changed from the past when great men used to achieve great things you know the, the traffic light the light bulb free electricity what changed see we still are hunters and gatherers 
but instead we're not hunting animals we're gathering information through books through social media through our life experiences and just through our work experiences this is all in itself a form of hunting and hunt gathering see today the men still make more money than women because the men put themselves in valuable industries wanted industries and not shit like art history dance class right and i don't need the sensitivity here man y'all know i'm just talking but this is the true nature every man has to feed himself we can't keep relying on another person to put food on our mouth we can't keep relying on someone else to clothe us because if we rely on someone else to feed us and clothe us then you really don't have control this this person could change the quality like that you could tarnish your food just like that and what are you going to do about it the power is not shrinking yourself and being underneath someone else the power is feeding your own mouth the power is feeding in your mouth and feeding your family now we're going through a middleman to feed ourselves and feed our family the world is yours and you have to be brave enough to chase it to conquer it love doesn't pay the bills god doesn't fix your roads this comes with your intentional intellect and desire to serve your community you have to move as such and no one else is gonna pay you like how you feel you should be paid you know your life is worth more than $22 an hour. You know your life is worth more than $18 an hour. But what are you going to do about it? Are we going to protest? Are we going to just be, deal with it? Are we just going to keep waiting on the savior, aka someone's politician or someone's God, to finally just drop the drop the BS on capitalism and turn everybody into socialists. See, none of us are really living in reality. And this is why these small group of individuals are conquering the whole world because we're not moving as a unit and we're too frightened to use the gift that God gave us, right? I move in such that the world is mine there's enough resources, women, and anything else I desire on this physical plane for me to get. And there's no reason why I shouldn't get it. And this is how you should move too. We're not moving as victims. We're moving as conquerors. You could, you could either conquer or get conquered. Now, which will you choose? So this has been More Studios. If you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, you be well.